asked of carnival preachings. Words pack themselves into my suitcase mouth. Folding into silence, I am pressed by amnesia, tumble dried into confusion, refusing to come out. No one speaks of the 16 year old sweating from love's sin. A congregation drenched in doctrine, lovers of adrenaline, telling her that melanin was never meant to mix that way. Girls never meant to be that way and that love, well, love came dressed in the cloak of gender she had simply confused the two. Ready to free her from sodomy's shackles, they said it was in her mind. I watched them, celebration discharged like infection in her ears. Praise dances on the roof, tambourines slashing, heartbeats drumming, guitar strings strumming something's wrong with hers, hummings the floor, twerking the vibration of rhythmic feet as voices clench the air's die from squeezing out a chorus of how he keeps on doing great things, is able to do exceedingly abundantly above, can free her of her demons, flipping sinners to priesthood, they said. It was in her mind. She never meant to be that way. Floating off the girl's lips as she did boys. Preferred hearts over the make of their toys. She never asked to play chess with the devil. To be presented as a pawn at the carnival preachings as an example of who not to be. She kneels there, greased to the floor. Stretching hands that hinge on fears at the rightest, licking her joints, she is stretched towards a pulpit, towards salvation. Her body, an island of difference, curled away from the church wall's gossip that may as well have screamed, You are not normal. She flinches from them, believers' eyes skimming her body like spotlights. A carnival freak show for the saved. I watch her. Self-hate moonwalks chestnut skin. She builds a fortress under the kinky tangle knots on her head, wondering if she had dressed herself in enough femininity to be acceptable. After all, it had been said that dressing that way had been the smoke alert for slithering demons of same-sex love. That was the day she swore to change her look for God. Thinking that a skirt would bring about blessed desires when she couldn't think straight, she dares not look up. Willing her skin to be emancipated from thrashes of hate thrashing her bones. And now they wonder why she never learned to love herself. Intoxicated by confusion's turbulence, she lays there, spilling, unable to contain herself, ready for the irrigation of her insecurities into compliance. No one speaks of the debris of deliverance, of the passion metamorphosizing to PTSD screams every night. After all, God hates fags, right? She spurts into submission, convinced that it is okay to be the Sunday freak show as long as she is saved. In love with carnival preachings, people shovel the screams of innocent children under their gums. No one speaks of the no man's land it has made of her. How she shares coffee with rejection every morning, twitching from lovers' hands that attempt to rebuild the fallen monuments of her confidence, telling herself that if the church walls could hide in silence, then so could she. I can hardly blame her, but when it happened to me, I too chose not to speak. Sure of its exorcism rides, carnival preachings lie in a bed of holiness. Failed. Too afraid of what they will find. 
that maybe, just maybe, her love was never a transgression. But then, of course, if they admitted that, these freak shows would have no audience. Few would be left to say, Amen. <laughs>